Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about how I created those cool 3D animations in my previous YouTube video. Quite a lot of people asked in the comment section on how I did this and on which software did I do it on. Now I'm going to use HitFilm Express and DaVinci Resolve to recreate these effects and I didn't want it to be unfair for a person who is just using HitFilm Express or for an individual who is just using DaVinci Resolve. So I did this effect in both of the softwares. Now I'm going to start off with HitFilm Express first as it's my software of choice when it comes to turning anything 2D into 3D and it makes the workflow a lot more easier as compared to DaVinci Resolve which is a little bit on the difficult side. So let's jump into the compositor. Alright, so we're on HitFilm Express 16 right now and I've already taken a screen recording of Unsplash.com as you can see. I'm scrolling around the website. This is to make sure we have some motion and it's just not still. Now hang on a second, if you're just here for the DaVinci Resolve tutorial, then jump into this time code and you'll get there. Anyway, we're going to right click on the clip in the timeline and make a composite shot out of it. Let me quickly mute this clip as some music was playing while I was recording. Then we're going to turn the video into a 3D plane by clicking on this checkered board icon next to the clip name and selecting 3D plane. After that we can go to transform section in the controls panel and as you can see we have rotation x, y and z along with scale and position. Now along with these terms you'll be able to see a circle icon and we're going to turn that on for scale, position and all the rotations. Now these circles are basically keyframes and we're going to use keyframes so that we can change the motion of these 3D plane along with time and that's how we'll be able to animate these clips. As I change the rotation Y, the clip rotates along the Y axis and the same happens when we change the X axis. Basically the clip rotates along the X axis and this is how we can rotate the image around to get our desired look. Now changing the rotation leaves a blank space in the background as you can see because our clip isn't really big enough to fill the entire space and that's where we can change the scale and position to completely fill the background with our clip. Let me just adjust it to my liking I think. I... Now let's go a few frames forward and change the rotations again. We're also going to change the scale and position according to what we're expecting the results to be. So now when we play it, we can see how the screenshot is animated and I think it looks pretty cool. And if you want the movements to be a bit more smoother, then you can expand the clip properties, open the transform tab, you'll be able to notice all the keyframes there. We're going to select all of the keyframes and change them to manual bezier. And now the animations will be much smoother. Now that we're done with HitFilm Express, let's start with DaVinci Resolve. And it's going to be a little bit longer than HitFilm Express, but the results are exactly similar. Okay, I've already opened up the same video file in DaVinci Resolve so that there is a similarity. Now as you can see in the transform section there are no 3D rotations options and that's because our screenshot is still 2D. So if we want to turn it into 3D we have to go to the fusion tab where basically all the compositing is done. Here you will be able to notice that we have a media in and media out. In DaVinci Resolve, all the 3D compositing and VFX work is done using nodes and it might seem a little bit complicated in the beginning, but once you get used to it, you'll definitely won't like layer-based VFX and compositing. Anyway, to turn our screenshot 3D, we'll have to select our media in node and click on image 3D plane. What this will do is it'll translate our 2D screenshot into a 3D layer. Now you'll be able to notice that our clip hasn't really changed in any way and to see the changes we'll have to add another node. To do that press Ctrl plus spacebar and a list of useful nodes will pop up. Search for render a 3D. What this will basically do is convert the 3D image back to 2D in the output so that we can see all the changes. This is because all the videos are basically 2D image in sequence. Now we'll connect this node to media out which will automatically disconnect media in. Now if you notice we have built a pathway from media in to media out with two 3D nodes in between. 
And that's how nodes work in DaVinci Resolve. It's the basic. Now we're going to select the image plane 3D node and press 1. This will allow us to see the changes in the 3D space in the first viewing window. Now we'll go to the transform section of the image plane 3D node and scale up the screenshot to fit the frame. These are the XYZ rotations and if you watched the hit frame part already then you'll know what these mean. Here we have some diamond shaped icons and they are keyframes. Remember in HitFilm Express they were circles and here are diamonds, a different software, different annotations. Now these keyframes as I said before will allow us to animate the screenshot with time. So we're going to turn the keyframes on for all the positions which are termed as translations here, rotations and as well as scale. So let me quickly rotate and scale this to my liking, I won't really waste so much time here. Alright so I'm happy with how it looks and I think it looks good. And let's skip a few frames forward and change the rotation again so that we can animate it. Now make sure that your keyframes are on otherwise your clips won't animate at all. I'll rotate it again according to my liking and I'll skip to that part. <laughs> and we're almost done. We can go back to the editing panel and turn render cache fusion output on as well as change the render cache to user from the playback menu. Now what this will do is it'll start caching your video for a smoother playback. Now this is probably the biggest reason why I don't use DaVinci Resolve for creating these kind of effects. It takes a lot of time and the video is always very choppy until your video is rendered. It takes a lot of CPU workload for a simple effect like this while on the other hand HitFilm does it really well. And it's not like the quality on HitFilm is bad, it's the same quality on both the softwares and that is why I prefer HitFilm Express over DaVinci Resolve for these kind of 3D animated effects. So these were the few methods on how you can turn a boring screenshot into a cool 3D animated one. And it's just not limited to HitFilm Express or DaVinci Resolve, you can do it on pretty much any other 3D compositor of your choice. And I hope this video has helped you guys in some way. If you like this video, like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.